but bonus bonus At we're on the right channel today holy crap we're live hi everyone look at that i think everyone's in the right spot yes yes two things right today streaming on the right channel yeah and everyone's wearing pants listen oh <laughs> mm, let's not stretch this yeah <laughs> I mean, yes, of course. Of course. Anyway, hey, everyone, welcome to the show. We are here to play some Alien Chapter 2 of our all... Fi oh, crap words. All Fear the Ishtar campaign, uh, where we're playing Space Pirates, and, uh, yeah, we got a job that we're doing, I think. We need to discuss that a little bit, um, because last session you all fought a, a space whale, and it was awesome. Uh, I mean, I want to get a picture of the space well back up for the stream. If I can... Oh, God. Buttons clicking. Go away. What the fuck? There's so many folders. I should learn how to organize. Mm -hmm. I say that every morning, and then I don't do it. Yeah, same. Listen, I am I'm happy today because I got Dan's uh role updated on the overlay so that's what? i yeah. have a job now yeah yeah <laughs> oh my uh oh, oh, snap. Disappointed. Ashley, thank you for those 300 bits that will be a banked advantage that our dear captain gets to keep track of now now i don't have an excuse for being bad at everything <laughs> uh, did you before well, I mean, I, I was a crewmate, so I assumed that he oh, wasn't yeah. bad at everything. You had the red shirt on. Yeah, and I yet still wear we, red shirt. But you know what, Taggart? We didn't make you the space janitor. We saved that for Crispy. You did. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. For now. Killed a space whale, although it looks like a space shark because it is a space shark. But I like... My wife, Ashley, used to watch a show called, like, The Space Whale and Me or something like that. I don't remember the name of it. She's going to be like, Chuck, you idiot, you're getting it wrong. Uh, anyway. Uh, and there was a lot of talk um, about, um, oh, it's The Sand Whale and Me. That's what it is. Go watch The Sand Whale and Me. It's weird as shit. Um, there was a lot of talk about taking the corpse of this space whale and using it to armor and decorate your ship and sneak in and ambush a rival pirate who's mad because you all self-defense killed his cousin. Uh, I, I want to make sure that's very clear. It was not an act of aggression on you. Exactly. There was no aggression in shooting his dick off with a call shot. He deserved it by oh. then. They started right? it. They did. It's true. We started it. We finished it. That's you right. You made me drop my fudge. I was very upset. He did. Oh but you God, ate your yeah. fudge, sir. That's the important. I did. But it was it was all covered in like space grease and such. You know, so many mm -hmm. people track so many things. It that hardens the arteries and makes you live longer, sir. And Melissa, that is Look another big banked advantage. Thank you very much. We call much. that preservatives. Oh, you know what I need to do? I think... It only kills the weak parts of you. <laughs> See? So, by my count, I don't know if this is accurate, Chuck, if you have a count too. I have nine re-rolls and 11 stress heals. Uh, we're right I'm... on... Did you just get the one Melissa threw out? Yeah. Okay. Then yes, that is exactly it. Eleven and nine. Okay. Perfect. Would we have been in a position to unpanic and other things like that? Yeah, that's fine. You, well, you're all going to have a few moments to 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 relax okay. and recoup. To because yeah, the other part of your job you can go dress as a space whale and ambush an asshole, or you can go do the job that you're you know had set out Supposed to, to do. do. Yeah, go steal yeah. some. Seeks in corporate transports. Uh, anyway. Maybe we could do our job and then Space Whale. You know, anything's a possibility if you can believe in yourself. Tag it. Yeah. Stay in your damn lane. No one told you to think. <laughs> Sorry, <sir. laughs> Ain't that the truth. Steven, thank you for those. Now, that is 
if I math correctly, which I know I'm not going to. Let's look at that. That is that is another banked reroll for the players, but Steven is putting that towards his down payment because Steven thinks he's going to eventually throw enough money out to win me away from my wife. Um, and, you know, it's working. Yeah, eventually, you know, there will be a fire sale on chunks. Shouldn't so. he be giving the bits to your wife? And then at a certain point, she'll decide yeah, like it's it, enough and just, just sell you out? Like I a good kept her out of those negotiations, Bert. <laughs> because, yeah, that's how it would have went. Mm. Or, mm. I mean, she should be giving steven bits to take you off her you know, hands is that you know funny? jeff just because it's the day after your birthday it's true don't think that i won't throw 18 more space whales at you bring it oh shit anyway How was bring your 21st jack hey yeah i'm playing a crazy space oh. captain you're throwing whales at me bring it oh shit. give me a white one while you're at. just threw down the gauntlet oh that is God. oh no that actually is um uh, Bringing me up to four complications. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh good. That's <laughs> one more space whales, then. Anyway, we'll get to those. Metahorse25, thank you Rage. for those bits. Let's do some introductions before I get distracted even more. Jeff, who are you playing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing uh, Captain JT McMurphy. Uh, I uh, run this, uh, this thing, the Bloody Buzzard, and... Uh, I'm trying to remember why it's called the Bloody Buzzard. Uh, I don't. I don't really remember. I probably told you last week, but you, you can't. It's really like your trust only friend. It's a cartoon. No, I don't know. It doesn't sound familiar. Anyhow, okay. I used to be a very, very well respected officer in the in the Colonial Navy, and uh, and I saw some things on a on a mission. I, I saw some things. And they tell me I didn't see them, uh, and they're wrong. I saw them. I definitely saw them. Uh, and then, uh, and then they didn't really want me to talk about it anymore. So they section aided me, and they got me out. I got a pension and all, et cetera, et cetera. And I bought. Uh, did I buy this thing? I don't even remember. I have the I have the pink slips. I have no idea how I found and acquired the ship. But uh, then I found these fellas and and Mikey, my boy. Uh, he's my kid right there. No, no, not like really. You know, I'm pretty sure. I I don't really remember. I might have put a space whale suit on one time and just went hard after an asshole. I don't know. And then suddenly Mikey was born. I'm not sure, but who knows? Who knows, really? Oh my god! I don't think how babies are made. Quote of the fucking campaign right there. (laughs) I think we can just end it for the night right there. I mean, (laughs) you're too young to know how babies were made. I'll tell you about it another time. I'm I'm not a butthole baby. (laughs) Okay. No. Do you have a butthole? No, no, never mind. All right. Not going to well, answer that question. Sure. Let's just, let's keep this going. And actually, I want to hop over to the cruise butthole, baby. Jeremy, who are you playing? I'm I'm playing Captain McMurphy's butthole, baby, apparently. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm Mikey. Here, I guess. Uh, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a professional, damn it. I am the, I'm the pilot. You're the pilot. I am a marksman. You are. I have shot off a dick. And I have sent a man out the airlock. You're I'm a man. Yeah. 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 Shut up, Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep that going. Collins, who, or John, who was just told to shut up? Uh, it's Sam Collins. The, uh, the, oh, wait, uh, let me put on my pirate voice yeah. because uh, you need to be a pirate, apparently. Uh, Sam Collins, I used to be a colonial marshal. I got tired of that. Uh, you know, I lost an arm uh, due to an unfortunate accident with a bakery truck. And uh, and, and now I'm a pirate because, uh, uh, you know, I like money. That's really about it. Uh, and, uh, you know, shooting people's all right. I got a new fancy arm. That's about it. That's, that's true. You do have a new fancy new arm. You are now the cruise inspector gadget with all the cool shit that that arm can do. I'm also the one that runs the sensors. True, 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 true. Uh, Let's actually, we're going to kick over to part two of the cruise inspector gadget retinue. Uh, (laughs) Bert, who are you playing? Well, I'm playing Big Mac McDonald. I'm the ship's cook. I, as should be, I'm a large man because you'd never trust a skinny cook. My aspirations, other than to make it through, you know, my pirating career here is to eventually, eventually, 
enter and win the Galactic Iron Chef competition. Now, folks have told me that I can't just go and kill all the competitors first and then cook my dish. Um, that's apparently against the rules. You can't win that way. So I got to come up with a new strategy. New strategy. Honestly, if it was me and we were running a cooking competition, I would have been great with that strategy. All right. And finally, the brains of this operation, who's got his little title on the overlay finally updated, because I'm lazy as fuck. Uh, Dan, the ship's gunner, why don't you tell us about yeah. who you're playing? It, it is appropriate, at least, because I did finally take the spaceship gunner perk this last session, so it, it's almost legitimate. Uh, Taggart was also uh, a space marine, but he didn't see nothing. But they still got rid of him anyways. Didn't see a damn thing. Good. Very good. Probably, maybe. I don't know. That's what they told him to say. Sure. So, that's, yeah. That's let's, let's figure out a plan of action for the night. You all have just... You were on the way to the, the job that Crispy, your now NPC janitor, uh, provided you all because he is in debt a very significant amount of money to Captain McMurphy. Um, so, yeah, you were on the way to the job, and then all of a sudden, Captain McMurphy, you were up monitoring things. Blip on your radar, you're watching, moving erratically, getting closer, you find a planetoid and a moon to hide behind, and it is a, it was a space well, hunting you all. Uh, you all successfully murdered the space well. Defended ourselves, I'd like to say. Murder. Mm -hmm. Self-defense. Yeah. Murder. Hang That's on, weird. I've just Ooh. been delivered a message from Sour Vixen. In the chat, other words known as my wife, Ashley. Uh, and Ashley, I don't know if you're listening, but I tried to do the thing you told me to, but that shit's broken. Eh, good enough on spelling. Oh, I said that shot's brown. Okay. Good enough. Uh, so, yeah, that's my question. You have a dead space whale. You're in very good shape. You didn't actually take any damage, if I remember correctly. Maybe like a point or something. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, that. You've got 10 out of 11 whole points, but that's... You've got your... Negligible. Uh, your NPC mechanic, Griff, along with Big Mac. The two of you can surely get that patched up. Um, so, yeah, I just want to know where you're going. Are you going to go try and murder the shit out of the captain or the galactic hammerhead for trying to board your ship and lure you into an ambush or are you going to go do the job and get paid that's that's what i want to know is it i think uh we're all professionals here you know all of us uh, even tag it and uh like I, I called you a professional what do you want me we're here to make money you know if he thinks you know he probably has got he's got a trap all laid out. He's probably got extra folks. He's probably gonna be outnumbered and such. And then we're going way out in the middle of nowhere. And it's like he's gonna follow us way out in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna get a whole mess load of money. We wanted to get off the grid a little bit. Uh, I think this is probably uh, it was, we should probably head out there and do the job. Plus, you know, Crispy is probably gonna die soon of old age. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, I'm sorry, so, that's not Crispy. I don't want to look at him, Captain. It just makes me sad. Let me get a picture. I know, of Crispy, right? Because it's like that. It's like if death were a member of our crew, it would be crispy. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, we probably gotta get that done pretty fast. Sure. All right. All right, so, yeah. You're doing the job. That means, uh, coordinates need to be laid back in because you all were taken off course, uh, which I believe is a job for Mikey, our pilot. So, Mikey, why don't you give me that piloting test? Uh, while you're rolling that chat i do want to those of you watching this live we've got two new things enabled uh so if you want to for stream stickers if you hover over the image little stream sticker things pop out on the side uh feel free for bits you can put some stickers up over us uh and then also uh if you want to throw some reactions out there we have giphy installed uh, and you are absolutely welcome to uh, throw some, some gifts 
up on the screen. Show us how you're feeling. Please do so. Oh, oh, feet stickers. How oh, great. I wonder where those will go. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, let me make it. right into the cook pot. That's where. That's right. Taste go on either side of Jeff's face. That's what I mm -hmm. see. Well, <laughs> I wasn't going to do that, but since John said that's what we have to do. Uh, anyway, yeah, Mikey, you knock it out of the park. Three, not only do you punch in the coordinates, um, maybe you've been studying some very thick books here and there, uh, but you pop in some coordinates. I'm actually going to shave a little bit of time off of this journey, maybe using gravity slings and other terms I don't understand. It's um, using a science brain. Yeah. Science, man. I know he science. watched a video on it. <laughs> I did. I, good job. Um, Had yeah. chat and GPT generate him a, a course to plug into the system. Yeah. So you're working off of the information Crispy gets you. Eventually you will get to the destination. Everyone comes out of cryo. Um, you know, you've got a day or two to kill until these transports are coming through. Uh, this system, it is way out on the edge of the rim, like way the hell out there. No one else is coming through. There's standard thing you would expect in a solar system like this. There is an... See, we got our first GIF up there. I don't know who put SpongeBob feet on the stream, but thank you. Gosh. There are asteroid belts. There's some gas giants here and there. Um, the planet that the delivery is going to is this very large, um, thin atmosphered rocky planet. No standing bodies of water on it. Um... But yeah, I guess what I'm getting at is I'm trying to set a scene so you all can uh, convey your plans to me on how you want to handle this ambush. Uh, Crispy's just like, hey, in a couple of days, or in a day, and whatever the calendar says, there's going to be two SIGs and transports coming through. Uh, supposedly, they're just manned entirely by scents, but these are... They, they do have a little bit of leeway on their behavioral controls, and they are allowed to defend the ship, uh, but not in an overly aggressive way. So it should be easy picking. So what's the plan? Uh, Big Mac, we should check to see how those modifications are coming to the power loader. Uh, I think Bertha here, I named her Bertha. On a couch, he's got some big old missile racks on the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because you all did buy a power loader. I need to get that added into your... And then we added the sentry defense turrets <laughs> to the power loader. You did, and I remember you rolled pretty good, because not only did you put a sentry defense turret mounted on each shoulder, you were actually able to put in... The stops, the stop, the, that way the it stops. can't <laughs> swing entirely in on itself, which is disappointing for me, but I'm glad you did it. Moderately important. Did, yeah. Did you want to put some armor on that? Like, I just noticed that where you're going to be at is a bit exposed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm you just... might have a point there, but, you know... I like to see what I'm killing, but I get what you're saying. I mean, I gotta survive it too. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got time. They just strapped me to the front of it. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're off. Yeah. Captain. I was just saying is that that is a good idea. Yeah. Put tag it at the front. Uh, you know. And he can bang bang and everything you know what i mean uh, yeah you know we can put them we can strap them to the nose of the ship uh and then give them a really big gun or something that'll take them out and we got a tractor hitch and we got mines you do uh, we do with that sir thinking uh try to figure out uh the core do we have do we have like the court that we know the course they're taking like like is it precise it's like, not is precise it like a, no no, okay. uh, pretty much uh, Crispy was able to provide the rough date of arrival and the destination. 
uh, in not any more detailed information than that. Um, he does have, it should be manned by a synth or two, um, lightly weaponed, but yeah, not a whole lot of information beyond that. And if Crispy so, had more information, he has forgotten it in his senile old age. Are there, are there uh, any nearby asteroids or anything that we could yeah. use as kind of some cover? Absolutely. So Mm. Absolutely. If you want to take, there's like I said, there's this full asteroid belt. There's other planetoids ranging from gas giants to smaller um, piloting tests. If you want to be able to try and disguise your or like hide yeah. in this. Also, okay. uh, Tiger Chide 303. Thank you for that follow. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Uh, like, it would be a piloting test to to hide. Yeah. Uh, you could also do a comms test to try and you know cloak your your signatures yep. here and there i'll do that well the other thing i was thinking is that we got those uh those shuttles those stock hat mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we could uh we could get one of them out there make it look like it's a lifeboat you know classic uh you know oh, uh, help. We, I'm we need help in space. and then quote all the regulations because they're required by law you know uh to stop and assist so, uh, and then, uh, you know, we, uh, we wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, or something. We, maybe we put the mines around the shuttle, you know, maybe we put, uh, you know, a couple of folks who, uh, you know, on the shuttle, ready to kind of commandeer the vessel, that kind of thing. Put me on the shuttle and I could say, help, I've fallen in space and I can't get up. You know, Taggy, that's the best idea you've ever had right there. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. I think plan, I have Captain. to help you when you say that. What was that target? I think they have to help you when you say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. It's true. And then the rest of us, mm -hmm. we could be high on Collins' asteroid field there and swoop in when we need to. Awesome. I like that idea. I do. Okay, so just I'm gonna reiterate that. Make sure I'm I'm up on this. You're gonna take one of your essentially your escape pods, one of your your little vehicles. You're gonna put it out in space, drifting with Taggart on board blasting an SOS while the rest of the ship and the crew is going to be hiding behind one of the nearby nearby asteroids um, kind of a two-pronged attack I really like it um, I'm excited to see how it goes uh, so what I just said it's gonna go horribly that's us that's you know may may not I, will tell better, I was going to propose we pretend to be safety inspectors. This is much better. Like, uh, you know what, I Mikey? mean, health and safety inspectors. <laughs> when we swoop in, we're going to swoop in. And we're going to say emergency health inspection. Okay. And that's that'll get them right there. Oh, wait, we should it? tell them that. Tiger, oh, actually, <laughs> I'm going to cut off. Communications to take a terrible do this. outbreak of space herpes. We got to inspect. We should tell them that Taggart has space herpes and needs to be quarantined. <laughs> I this idea keeps getting better every moment. Wait, are we going to like stop them for safety inspections and health inspections with the like the whale carcass kind of still attached to her ship or or without? Oh, I mean, he got I he got space whale herpes. <laughs> Did we I, bring it with us? I don't think we brought it with us. Eddie, that's so rude. I'm a gentleman as well. Uh, I presumed the w space whale carcass is too cool. You've got a tow hitch. I just presumed you're towing it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Are you going to equip the space whale carcass for an additional layer to this onion surprise? Yeah, we uh, we get the we get the space whale carcass. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> no, I was thinking. I got another idea. <laughs> I'm all yeah. ears, Captain. <laughs> okay, we, we do the shuttle thing. We do the shuttle thing. And then, yeah. because we were talking about it already, we sneak inside the space whale. And then as they come up and they're like dealing with Taggart and his, uh, his, his issue, we we sneak in as the space whale. They'll never know. They'll be like, oh, it's just a space whale. We're fine. We're just, we're going to help this guy out. And then we all of a sudden pop, we're out of the space whale. And we say, health inspection. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. That last part, that's going to get them, sir. That's yep. gonna yeah, get yeah. Them. They're going to try and process it, and they're going to go. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah, how you grow the machine. If there's one thing I learned 
from all my years in the Navy is that the best laid plans always fail. So what I have always done as just, you know, my viewpoint in life is to have the worst laid plans because the inversion of that is that it is going to go great. Yeah, that's correct, sir. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. Uh, do we not have 88 million credits or not? I mean, I think I feel, I feel like well, we got we got some bread here. Yeah, Griffin, thanks for that sub. That's fantastic of you. <laughs> uh, clarification question for me. Is the ship popping out of the space well, or are all of you in your EV suits popping out of the space well? Minus Taggart. I think we're, we're going to, the ship is going to go in, and we're going to pop out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, it would be really fun. You know, it would be really fun. Collins, if you could do this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you could do it. We get a few foot. We get some towing cables. We get a couple people. We do a little EVA walk. We tie the towing cables to the mouth of the space whale. And then when Mikey hits the comms to let them know, hey, health inspection, we're all moving the towing cable. <laughs> I'm oh, in looks favor like of this the plan, captain. Doing the talking. Oh, yes. my God. <laughs> this plan is amazing. The best. Okay, we're doing it. Getting it. the cable now, sir. Taggart, you leap into the lifeboat, we'll say, and eject into space. Uh, you've been given a rough script of help. I've fallen in space and I can't get up. Don't right, forget guys, about me, guys. Him. Please. Then you just see us. You just see us drift away. And not falling <laughs> whatsoever. And then the, the taillights get smaller and smaller <laughs> until they're gone. Taggart starts his new life with his <laughs> synth crew of two. Yeah. Sounds uh, about right. The rest of you spend a little bit of time of getting the bloody buzzard in the space mm -hmm. well uh, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. such a way. Uh, Griffin, I definitely will. I have some ideas. I appreciate that. That's going to be some finesse flying for you there, Mikey. It is going to make things a little more difficult. I but you were get it. it. In the space well, everyone's suited up, ready to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So let me take a look at this. ComTech, you all did good on ComTech. Well, uh, Collins, you did good on ComTech, trying to kind of disguise your signature. So we'll take mm -hmm. that. <clears throat> Mikey, mm -hmm. you're you're doing what you can. Gosh. Uh, why don't we keep that as two points of stress there, Captain, and another advantage slash reroll. Oh boy, Gorilla Eddie, thanks for that sub. That's very kind of you. Um. All right, Mikey, it, it's it's hard to hold this thing steady. It is not designed to bear weight in the way that it is. Uh, you I get a feeling that some of your propulsion output mm -hmm, areas mm -hmm. may be slightly blocked by space well carcass, but it's not anything you, you won't be able to overcome. Any piloting tests, I am going to inflict a one die penalty. Um, okay, eventually, okay. you were going to say something? No, no, I got this. Yeah. Eventually, you see kind of hitting off the... And the ship, the buzzer doesn't pick it up as soon, because not only do you have a space well carcass kind of dampering your reception a little bit, Collins has kind of put things on dark mode. That way you can maintain that level of uh, stealth. But Taggart, floating out there in the, in the lifeboat, essentially... Uh, you pick this thing up first, um, and on our our space map, uh, I'm going to throw Taggart out on your own. You're out in the center. Well, kind of a little further back. Let's go ahead and let's shift. Nice right. knowing you, Taggart. Always off the map. Taggart, you you get a clear reading first off. Um. And Taggart, it is a... Now, Taggart, did you activate your distress beacon? I know. That was the plan. That's, okay. what, I, that's what they told me to do. <laughs> that is what I had presumed. I just wanted to make sure that Taggart didn't have other plans. Press the button, Taggart. So, Taggart, you... Which one? 
They didn't say which one. Oh, There's so many buttons. We labeled it with a written. Oh, we wrote a note. That's the problem. Oh, oh wait, he took the cup that doesn't have the labels on. We didn't get to that yet. Mm. Tagger. Oh, we got the signs Green up in the gun. ship. It's for Tagger. The self-destruct and the emergency button are right next to each other. I sure hope he picks the right one. But yeah, Tagger, you get that pickup. You pick him up on long range. You get kind of like a confirmation lock on the the lifeboats. Um, you know the scanner systems. They have received your distress signal, uh, and you actually you get a response back. You get a hail from one of them. Standard run of the mill Joe working Joe Seth. Not designed to be pretty. Designed to be functional. As it comes up on your your screen, do you respond to this hail? I, that, that's uh, yeah. Help! Help! I've fallen in space and I can't get up. Next question on this. Do you respond audio only or audio and video? Uh, probably just audio to start with. Sure, but... sure. You see the working Joe. Greetings, occupants of unknown safety craft. We have received your distress signal. Be prepared for us to immediately intercept and provide aid. Question about your current status. How did you end up here? Where is your ship? Is your lifeboat damaged? Why are we not receiving video outputs? How many is on I'm, your crew? And they just keep it's going. Just, oh. <laughs> Rapid fire I've fallen. questions. My crew just kicked me out. They left me here. I'll just like, I'll lay on the floor and I'll like try to reach up to turn on the video and just have my hand. I love it. I, I love that idea so much that I get to ask you for a role. I want you to give me a manipulate test. Oh, good. This is definitely one of uh, mm -hmm. one of his core skills here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you pass. <laughs> you pass. Yeah. As you were sprawled out on the ground, you slap the terminal, you hit the right button, not self-destruct. As your camera flicks on right as you're yelling, I've fallen, I can't get up, help. And you see this working, Joe. Oh dear, this is extremely unfortunate. We have watched the safety training videos of non-synthetic life and the dangers of falling and being unable to right themselves. Please do not move at risk of further spinal injury. We are approaching now. My back is broken. Ow! Please maintain calm. Increased heart rate can lead to cardiac failure. As eventually the those of you on the on the buzzard, you pick it up. You're listening in. You're eavesdropping on this conversation. Um, Mikey, this is probably just me screaming in the background at this point. Yeah, yeah. Mikey Collins, the two of you, kind of watching the systems, watching the navigation. Uh, you see, they immediately readjust course both ships are now on an intercept course with the the lifeboat the taggart is on um they are broadcasting calming yet very blunt and unenthusiastic you know uh, words to try and maintain taggart's composure um you were all hiding in an asteroid belt you're running dark um let me go ahead and I want to, I want to roll a test here. Uh, don't take that one. I forgot to adjust. You're running quiet and then you have Taggart as a distraction. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, they, they, there's no sense. There's no scanner swipes. There's nothing. You feel very confident that they are totally unaware of you all. They're approaching. What's happening here? I think we're, we're, we're waiting for the, for them to, to slow the, the relative velocity. Sure. And then we're gonna, we're gonna creep on out. As the space whale. Sean is ready. And someone who's gonna get on the comms and do the dun 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 on open comms. And then when we 
Are you, I think you, you should do come? it, Captain. Me? Oh, uh, okay. I was going to go uh, ride on the towing cables like that. Like that Dune movie. Like they're riding this thing. I was gonna, mm-hmm. uh, That's pretty good, that's too. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, there's a lot Mikey, of options. Can I do it? Really uh, cross it over. Uh, another question I want some clarification in. When you do move in for this intercept, are you waiting before they dock with Taggart, or are you waiting until after? I think after, right? We want we want Taggart yeah. to be able to get in there and okay. yeah, the yeah, of course. We need an inside man. <clears throat> then so nobody then, uh, can do some clandestine shit like Taggart. True. You're uh, watching. Mikey, I think you would be good at it too. I am, bam, bam, bam. I would be. I would be. You would be very but, good, I think. But I wouldn't be able to yell, health inspection, motherfucker, if I was on the yeah. inside. I know. I mean, we could uh, tag a camp pilot like this, so, we'll, you know, come on. Yeah. Come on. As you're watching, one of the ships moves up, and you can see the docking umbilical starts connecting in with Taggart's boat. Uh, the other one has moved into a small kind of orbit around Taggart in this one, almost in a a defensive kind of perimeter. Um, you listening in on Taggart's comms. Comms, uh, Taggart, as you're, you're laying there on the ground, you feel the heavy chunk as the umbilical docks onto yours. Uh, emergency codes. Oh, the pain. Yeah, emergency <laughs> codes allow them to open up your door. As you see two working Joe Sense. One of them stays on the other side that doesn't enter the ship. The other one is coming in, pushing a, a gurney of sorts. Uh, as you're lying there yelling in pain, they're, they're going to be doing, uh, you know, essentially first aid, uh, emergency medical procedures on you. How are you letting them do this? What, are, what is Taggart doing? When is Taggart not doing What's going on? I mean, I, I've got like my Evo suit and stuff on, so like mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna take some work to get there. Oh yeah, well, at first, <laughs> don't, don't move me, it hurts. <laughs> well, you see, as they move up, and it's that gentle. Please remain still. Do not move your extremities. Hold your neck still. Where is the pain? What has happened to you? Are there any other crewmates? As they're lowering this gurney kind of down next to you. And this one, very easily, you feel the strength of this synth as they kind of scoop you up and lie you across the gurney. Um, You can see they're going for belts. They're going for straps to kind of strap you down. Are you allowing that to happen? I might try and kind of puff up a little bit or something to see if I can, you know... Yeah, you buy myself a little leeway, maybe give yourself a little muscle room, a little room to, to wiggle when needed. Um, uh, this... I, I think back on the ship, there's probably just a quiet conversation between Collins and the captain. Uh, Captain, maybe we should have given him like a code phrase or something to say if he needed help in a, in a hurry. Ah, uh, he's tagging to be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He's he's a he's a marine. He's a marine. Just gonna yell at the ship. Help, crewmates! <laughs> I'm falling and I can't get up. Can we say that why this is happening? Like the like we're broadcast we're, as we're creeping out from the from the asteroid field. We're we're broadcasting everywhere, and we just hear. A, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Da-dun. And then just gonna keep doing that for a bit. Yeah, yeah, you're you're broadcasting. They <laughs> sear it, and and Taggart, you don't know what happens. All of a sudden, the two cents they get rigid. They go straight uh, up and down. They the one stops trying to like examine you and figure out what's wrong. Get you strapped. They look at each other. There's there's no verbal communication. As the other ship, the one circling around the lifeboat, blasts a... just a wide area communication. Attention, unknown vessel, broadcasting. Please, refrain. This is a rescue operation. I'm falling and I can't get up. And then Cap will look as he's doing this. We'll look over towards Mikey. 
Dun, 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 dun. Health inspection, motherfuckers! <laughs> Health inspection, motherfuckers. Blast out through the comms. <laughs> work the wires, comms! Work the wires! It turns into three stooges all of a sudden. These two cents, all composure is gone. They drop down like in a crouch. They're looking back and forth. They run back and forth in a few paces here and there. And then they it's just working. bolt onto their ship. As the ship that you're talking to, or you're, that was putting out that broadcast, you can hear, they don't stop broadcasting. It's just, it switches over to a, uh, redefine parameters, health inspection. What? This is nonsense. What? We are. Who? What? Where? What? This isn't right. Health inspection, motherfuckers. Bend over and spread your cheeks. We're coming in to check you out. Give me a manipulation test, Mikey. <laughs> As a space whale erupts from the asteroid belt with the Jaws music playing in the background and a young man screams out space and sp or health inspectors spread your cheeks. Do, do we also have uh, Big Mac pulling the cables to to move the jaws? I like would it's... imagine so. Big okay. Mac's probably the only. I'm in one the power loader out. doing the. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the power loader, perfect. Uh, Griffin, in the alien system, there is not an intimidate skill that falls under manipulation. I don't even I know where to go with this. Success. This is so wild. <laughs> Raw script. I mean, do they believe that the whale is telling them that they're doing it? <laughs> also, Tagger, do you chase after them? I'll have to probably like undo myself you're here. Gonna, a little you're going to no, give me really a strange. give me a close combat test, Taggart. Okay. I'm just picturing Taggart knocking his own gurney over. <laughs> Taggart, you don't bother Taggart breaking just... out of the straps. You just set up and you feel the gurney underneath of you snap. <laughs> like you do that Dracula instant setup. You swing your legs over and you just feel the bits of metal like breaking around you, bound to the strap. So as you're now charging towards these two cents, like this wind chime of doom is just like dangling off of all over your body. Let's just go How into How could you leave initiative. me like this? <laughs> we're going to do... We're going to do some regular ass initiative. Because I don't even... Each ship's going to get initiative. And we're going to just... We're just going to do regular ass initiative. That's what it's going to be. Fuck fancy rules. Regular ass initiative. As each of my senses coming up is dead. I blame you for this, Dan. <laughs> I already killed him while you were looking. <laughs> nice no, work. These are, uh... Well, they they bent over and they spread their cheeks, and then you, you got them. Got them. The gurney. Are, the only synth NPC I could find that was loading was Chaplin from Destroyer of Worlds. Uh, so this is just a dupe of when you played Chaplin, Dan. <laughs> It'll do. That also means I'm, I'm probably not going to be very successful in killing them. What was Adam's character, Jeremy? Is it Abbott? Abbott. Yeah. Hey, Abbott! Remember, I got to play Chaplin for a while. That was fun. <laughs> you did the Charlie. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, you did. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, does anyone have any initiative fuckery? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I hate rolling. This is so terrible. You know what we're going to do? Captain, roll me a d6. Your initiative is a five. Enemy initiative is... Oh, you got a three. I'm sorry. I can't count. A six. Enemies are going to get a react before you do. One, two, five, three, sir. And so we're just going to go back and forth. Their turn, your turn, and you all just do stuff on your turn. Because um, 
I don't have the brain power to, to do technical thinking tonight. Uh, so Taggart, the first two cents, they're going to spend their turn running away from you and trying to get into battle stations. Um, the sense on the ship that is not connected to Taggart, the first one is going to, they're going to give a piloting test uh, to start taking kind of like evasive maneuvers, trying to avoid sensor lock. Uh, this is going to be opposed to trying to gain sensor lock later on. Uh, and the other one is going to spend its time just blasting you all on comms. State the nature of your purpose. Why are you a shark or a whale? What is this music? What is it? You are not a health inspector. Health inspectors have no jurisdiction here. That is not proper protocol for communications of a health inspector. What the hell? <laughs> I'm a space whale. This is my home, motherfucker. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now we're going to kick over to enemy team. Uh, Captain, you are going to get to be the one who dictates who gets to go win. Uh, so this is going to be a Chuck versus Jeff kind of battle. Um, Jeff, what do you got, man? Oh, it's, I thought you were going to go first. I, I did. That's I was giving you oh, okay. what they did. So, yeah. Okay. So I just want to make sure I understand where everybody is. Uh, three of us are on the bridge, and then uh, and then Bert, as uh, is in the is outside the ship, in controlling the tow cables with the with He's the suit loader. Yeah, in Bertha, working the tow cables okay. to operate the mouth. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to turn to Mikey. So I guess I, I guess I could be on the guns. You want me to be on guns sure. if we well if we get the guns if we get the guns. Okay, so I'll, I'll don't forget I'll Bertha has rocket launchers. Yeah. I'm going to shout out. Oh, God. I'm going to shout out to Mikey. Mikey, ramming speed. Yes. Hit the shuttle. And then old freaking Mac's just going to launch on out of there. No problem. You hear that, Mac? Get ready. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, are you using your actions here to do your command ability? Uh, yeah. So I figure I want to. I'll give a command to Mikey uh, to basically do ramming speed. Yeah. Uh, essentially trying to ram one of them. He can pick whatever one he wants. Sure. And then the other yeah. one is is I want I want to give an order to Big Mac to be ready to sort of launch himself out and see if he can like you know either attack or like glam on to sure. whatever yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's the idea. Okay. So okay. So let me do let me do my commands. My yeah. Command do rolls your then. command rolls. All right. So this one's for Mikey. Uh, Mikey, that's a it's a plus two. And then this nice. one's for old Big Mac. Plus also two. a plus two. All right, so Mikey and Big go. Mac will get plus two on their action. Now, nice. Mikey's piloting test, this isn't a problem. It's not going to be affected. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain, who's going to go next? Uh, you, If Mikey's going to ram, do you got something you want Collins to do? You want something you want Taggart to do? I guess just tell uh, me who's going to take the next action at this point. So... We don't need to like lock on for like hit for for ramming, right? Not for ramming, no. Let's just have Mikey go next, then. All right, all right, Mikey, give me that piloting test. You get a plus two on this. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna go for the one that Taggart's not attached to because we've we've already said like Taggart can handle sure his yeah, shit. Yeah. So we're gonna go for the other one. I had a minus one, but now we got a plus one. This is amazing. Go base modifier one. Get yeah, them. No. Uh, you get one success here. Let me take a look, because I believe there are rules for ramming. I'm going to go ahead and give him a reroll if you want. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I have captain's reroll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So don't push. Just do a full on reroll. Yeah. 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 Hang tight on that. Okay. I'll do that. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's better. Oh, wow. Yeah. So two successes there. That's fantastic. Mikey, you can push that from there if you want. You know what? I get the feeling Cap wants me to do good on this. I'm going to push mm -hmm. it. I'm going to push it real good. 
Uh, <clears throat> four successes. Yeah. So looking at the ramming rules, the damage calculated for a ship ramming into the other into another is the whole value divided by five. Uh, you've got a whole value of eleven. We're going to round that down to ten. Base damage is two, which means this ram is going to put five points of damage onto this ship. Uh, they do have an armor rating, which they fail. Chomp, chomp, motherfucker! Uh, you immediately put five points of damage on their hull rating, which... Oh, good God. Let's take a look at... This was a really great damage. idea, Cap. This is so fun. <laughs> uh, that does not quite count as half, so they are going to risk minor system damage because of this. Uh, let's do... Which can spiral into major system damage and then become uh, a, a new, new, uh, reactor meltdown. Yeah, as has happened before in one of our <laughs> alien games. It can mm -hmm. happen. It can happen. Uh, let's see. We got to look at mother tables. See, while we're doing this, we suddenly see like through the through like the front bridge viewing port. We just see the loader. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> there goes oh, yeah. Big Mac getting ready to board one uh, of these. So as I'm rolling this, you hit, you deal your damage. Uh, this is going to be compartmental decompression. Uh, compression. You crush part of the ship. Um, yeah, immediately part of this ship is decompressed. Now your opponents here are synthetic. Decompression, as long as they can survive the initial rush of vacuum, they don't have anything to necessarily worry about. But... Uh, let's see if they can pass the mobility tests to keep their footing. The first one does, and the second one doesn't. Now, you wouldn't know this on your ship, but one of them is immediately, like, thrown to the side and is now getting kind of, like, sucked along the floor, which is going to be trouble for them as they try and take actions in the future. Um... So, Captain, Mikey just hit. Did a large amount of damage. Broke through the hole. Who's taking their next turn? You got Taggart. You've Go got e. Collins, and you've got Big Mac. We jammed, we rammed into them, and so, uh, so we're right there in contact, and I'm like, Mac, get your ass on that ship. Mac. So, Mac, <clears throat> so there's a hole in their hole right now, right? Yes. So, he's got Mac just, like, lets the momentum just to shoot himself into that ship through the hole. Yeah. And uh, he's just going to light off those missiles from the inside of the ship. <laughs> You've got, I want, um, staying on course here. Now, don't forget, you're going to get a plus two to this. <clears throat> yep. Your options here. I'll let you take what you want. Mobility or piloting. Mm. Either one of those would work. Uh, so give me that roll. You can right-click on it and put a two Got in the zeros bonus. in both, so uh, <laughs> I'll take mobility. Okay. The plus two, you say? Yep. Oh, wait. Yeah, I didn't ask me for the bonus. Uh, so let Even me roll two more d6s. To roll me two more d6s. Yep. Uh, as it is, you're setting with two successes, yeah. which is, in fact, going to land you directly because like as the ships collide heavy they kind of like break apart and start drifting a little bit you use the momentum of the bloody buzzard to just launch yourself you aim you use a little bit of drag maybe uh firing a shot here or there to control your uh your angle two successes you fly right in through this huge gaping hole in the side of this thing you are inside you've got missile launchers do you have a way to roll that Hmm. Um, let, let me check. Um, so I, the power oh, loader do. does not give a bonus to uh, any rolls outside. It gives a bonus to heavy machinery in close combat. So this would count as ranged. Sure. Uh, so go ahead. Give me actually just a second. The fact that you put missiles launchers on a power loader is absolutely amazing. 
Uh, your base damage here is three, um, and it doesn't give you a bonus uh, one. So roll ranged combat. You get a plus one die on this thing with a base damage of three. So just roll me ranged combat plus one. It's not asking me for the extra die. you got to right so click on it. Oh, okay. So here's yeah. my extra d6. Um, hey, that one extra success. d6 is a success. <clears throat> that is going to deal three damage to the interior of the ship. Do you want to push? Did we lose any stress from last game, or are we still yeah, all we, the stress? Uh, we got rid of our stress. I would stress. say it's been long enough. You've had a good day or two. You can re... Well, you've rolled with stress, but you would have been able to reset your stress. But Okay, well, we'll leave it where it is. But yes, right. I'm going to go ahead and push then. Sure. Go ahead and push. Uh, and then... So that is going to be two successes. So your base damage is going to be four. You didn't need to roll me stresses. Maybe you realize you just flew inside of another oh, ship oh, oh, oh. and started... Throwing no, that's perfect. fucking missiles everywhere. I've cooked off these missiles. The inside of this ship is just going to hack. So uh, uh, I seek cover by diving out of the ship into space. <laughs> and they take all four. This is now major systems damage. Um, uh, let's see. It's this one right here. Uh, bridge exposed to vacuum. Ship can no that longer be out. controlled. Bridge suffers explosive decompression. Um, <laughs> the synth that failed beforehand, um, I'm not going to let them roll to try and save themselves. They already failed. They're on the ground. They're unprepared. Uh, the other one, however, I will allow them a chance to succeed, and they don't. Right now... Big Mac is the only one on this vessel. As the two cents piloting it have been sucked into the vacuum. <laughs> Captain, Collins or Taggart? Okay, so um, are we all on comms? Are we even on comms with Taggart? I imagine the rest oh, of us Oh, yeah, I really. presumed so, yeah. I mean, you've got your private channel. Um, okay. Uh, well, I guess let's let... Taggart go so we get an idea of what's going on there and then if necessary Collins can jump on the guns or something right so yeah uh, so uh hey Taggart status report uh, what's going on we 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 took ours out how's yours I'm gonna get him I assume that there's lots of rattling and things like that oh, yeah. in the background too oh yeah. <laughs> yeah so Taggart you are barreling through the ship I would presume what's your what's your goal here I mean, Taggart doesn't really think very much, so he's just going to go shoot him. You run to the bridge. <laughs> Give me a mobility test. Let's see. Very good mobility. If you pass this mobility test, you make it into the bridge. You are now standing sure. there with two cents. You've got your slow action. What do you do? Yep. Yeah, this is totally a great place to be. I shoot them. It's the only thing Taggart do. Oh, that's not not so good. I will uh, push. Better. Mm. Oh, Ooh. Holy Ooh. fuck! You are yeah. low with your shotgun. Wow. That is six damage on one of these synths. Should be more than that, right? Uh, your base oh, yeah. damage is three, and then you got an additional three successes. That would put you at six. Four successes. Five, oh, five total. Oh, you pushed. I'm sorry. I missed that. Yeah, I that pushed. is seven yeah. damage. Um, I'm going to need all of it. I know. <laughs> these things do not have armor. How could you leave me there as I shoot them? <laughs> <laughs> you failed your inspection. That is great. So, <laughs> left your patient. Uh... Jeremy and Jeff, remind me on the rules for synths. When they take an injury, they don't go down. I just roll the synth critical injury. Exactly. Table, right? Yeah, and it yeah. depends upon yeah. what that injury is. Exactly. All right. Cr critical injuries on synthetics. We have to get real lucky. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Head a good dislocation. one. All right. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Good one. Uh, all fast actions become slow actions. Okay. Um... Let me just go ahead and mark this one as I got to zoom in because I got old man eyes. And I can't see shit. 
Uh, you know what? We're just, we're gonna put the shit right there. All right. Slow action. All right. So, that is your turn. You run in. You ba uh, blast this thing. Just hit it right in the fucking chin. Head goes flying backwards. It's still up, though. <laughs> Uh, that leaves us with Collins. Uh, Captain, if I may, I'd like to line you up with a beautiful shot on, on this thing. Uh, the honors are all yours, and I'll do a contact roll to sure. get a target lock. Sure. Now, this one has not uh, taken any action. So if they try to take evasive action, try to keep you from getting a, a lock, that means their difficulty is now going to be setting at a two. Mm-hmm. But that is everyone's turn on your side, so that means it's now my turn. Uh, fast actions become slow actions. Taggart, we're kind of moving you over a little bit. I'm going to zoom in on it. That way people can watch how fucked you are. Um, yeah. First They're one is going to move in. Punch to, holes right through yeah, me. first one's going to move up to you. It's had its head. It's dangling behind its back. Nothing it can do. It uses its action to move up. The other one on the other hand, let's do... Uh, it is going to... It pulls out a stun baton. Uh, and it is going to swing hard on you. Uh, sadly, that is just one point of damage. Um... Let's see. I did that stamina test, don't forget. Yeah, yeah you got to give me a stamina test here. Or do I? Ooh. Let's see. Oh, Ch -ch -ch -ch. no. Anyone who buys stun baton and takes more than one point of damage, you take, or one or more, and you take no damage. Nice. Okay, it swings hard at you. Uh, that is my turn. Uh, crew of the Bloody Buzzard, what's happening? So just to set our scene right now, we have Big Mac on the other ship, which has been thoroughly vented, the crew ejected. Uh, you all have rammed into that ship. Um, and yeah, Taggart is engaged in melee combat with two separate synthetics. On the bridge. And we know yes, this. Taggart's got this. <laughs> and we got a lock on him, right? Because mm -hmm. Collins. Yes, sir. All right. Now, uh, a good captain would ask if Taggart was in his suit. So, instead, since I'm not one of those, I'll say, hey, Taggart, duck. And I'm going to unload the railgun into the bridge. Oh, I love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so how do I roll this from the, the, the buzzard? Do from I roll the... from the buzzard or... Uh, yeah, you can roll it from the buzzard on the crew table um, for McMurphy. Change that. Click the commander section and change that to gunner. Okay. Uh, and it. then you can go to the inventory oh, tab and you should be able to click on the heavy railgun turret. Uh, okay. And it should prompt you for a roll. And the select filter, change that to um, McMurphy. Select filter. Did that come up for you? Right. Uh, select filter. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Okay. Uh, and I don't do anything for like base modifier or stress modifier. Um, That'll like I automatically don't read remember. my remember. Bert, Dan, do you two remember? Do you need to put in your stats or does it pull those for you? In theory, if it's working right, if you selected yourself, it, it rolls with your stats. The okay. problem was it wasn't selecting the right people. Okay. okay. Oh, Give it a roll. We'll see if it's right. If not, we'll adjust. Because uh, as it is the railgun, it does not give any bonus to hit, so it should just be your base ranged combat. Yeah, that's what I was it's doing when I was not, shooting it. Okay, It's just, not rolling at all. Yeah, that's fine. Just roll me your ranged combat skill. Uh, base damage on this is five. Uh, two uh, successes, okay. that is six, unless you want to push. Um... I don't know, Taggart's in there, he's in trouble. So, yeah, I'll push. Uh, damn it. All right. Okay. So, six damage. You didn't feel that strongly about it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I this thing saved you. is still armor rated. It is going to take... Oh, no, that is armor piercing. Uh, let me reroll that with armor piercing. 
Uh, it uh, takes none, so that is going to put it well over half, which will be a major. Uh, Griffin, um, yeah, it would technically, but I have decided tonight that I just don't have the patience for actual rules. Uh, so we're just winging it. Uh, but that is going to be a major vehicle. I can oh God. find it. Spaceship nope. major component. We might have just killed Tinkert. <laughs> There's a good chance. Can't Armament. Be fine. Oh, no, you're great. Armament damage. Ship is unusable. Uh, our random armament on it is unusable until repaired. Uh, Captain, I would like... Oh, it only has a light railgun. Um... Yeah, you're you're good. This thing can't fire back if anyone were to man the weapons. Uh, who's doing what now, Captain? Uh, let's see. Uh, tag it. Finish it. I'll try. <clears throat> what do you so got there, Tag? Um, I'll probably just try to shoot the one that's not broken yet. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. They're wearing no armor. Uh, right off the bat, that is going to give us five damage. Would you like to push that? Holy ah, poop sticks. Yes. Mm, mm, uh, mm, that mm. is five, six, seven, eight damage. You need to roll me stress. You're keeping together. You are fucking solid, dude. Uh, and that. I figured it's only good at one thing. <laughs> That does drop them well into the broken range. So we roll our critical injury. Destroyed legs. This thing is prone. You blast its fucking legs off. Nice. I I guess spilled milk that... everywhere. <laughs> oh, gross. Yeah. I guess with that, with my fast action, I will step back from them that a little bit. genius, because the... <laughs> One of them can't move, and the other one can only move as a slow action. So, nice. I got him. Technical stuff. All right, the captain is gone. Taggart is gone. Who's doing? Don't what? shoot me again. Submit to space well law. Face disassembly. Taggart, you're in this thing, and you can hear blaring through the comms on the ship. Mikey yelling about submitting to space whale law, which is fucking genius. <laughs> I can't really uh, argue with that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, how about uh, let's see, Mac, get your ass over the other one. How about that, Mac? Mac, you're still there. You're uninjured. Mobility or piloting to try and leap from one ship to the other one. Right. So my. Um my stress thing is that I have to um, I gotta leave so yeah I leave by leaping through the hole <laughs> trying <laughs> okay so I want to get you, over to the other ship yeah oh play this is what Mac oh no you know what Mac still has the chains that he was using to open and close the jaws of the yeah. shark so he just kind of <laughs> slams that chain out and uses it to haul himself over Okay. Do you pull it's yourself terrible. back to the buzzard? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to make you roll. Captain, that's what you asked for, right? Wait, no. What'd you ask no, for? No, 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 no. Go to the other one. Help yeah, out, yeah. Zach. So I'm using those chains to kind of latch onto bits and to get, get moving towards that other Give ship. Give me your mobility test here and go ahead and take a plus one. So right click on it or just give me another D6. You're going to get yeah, over sorry. there. Sorry. I, I keep forgetting. That's fine. So one success. Two, two success. successes. That is fantastic. Yes. One success was going to take up your fast and slow action. Two successes mm -hmm. is going to take up your fast action. Okay. Like goddamn scorpion from Mortal Kombat. You've got these chains <laughs> being wielded by the pincers of the power armor, and you're just whipping them and latching on to bits of space debris flying off from these ships. As you pull yourself over, and all of a sudden, Taggart, you hear this heavy ka as the magnetic booting of Bertha <laughs> latches onto the hull of the ship. Big Mac, since you gave me two successes, you have a slow action. What do you want to do? Can I shoot missiles with a slow action? A hundred percent you can. <laughs> Trying to kill me. He is. Blank. I love it. 
<laughs> if we're I mean, on we comms, I'll duck. shoot in the other direction. I won't shoot directly at you, but I'll shoot in the other direction. <laughs> base right. damage is one. Um, base damage is three. You get a bonus die for this. So right click on it. Give me a plus one. Aim these right at the engines. What could go? Oh, wow. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, that is six damage. Are you pushing? No, no, no. That's that's good. That's 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 good. All Ooh. right. It's going to kill me. Uh, that is going to be. Yeah, that is that drops the whole integrity to zero. That is a major systems. At least if you die now, Taggart, you're not dying alone. <laughs> well, the worst part is I already got the bad trees. <laughs> yeah, you have. Engine failure. It's just dead in oh, space. Okay. You're fine. Nice. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, Big Mac, yeah, you blast these missiles out and it just takes off all of the eternal uh, engine components as it just scours the whole of this thing. You can feel the rumble die out from under your feet as the engines are completely dead at this point. Um, Mikey or Collins? I'm going to do a sweep just to be on the safe side. I love it. Another space bell comes out thinking it's found one of its kind. <laughs> I'm glad you did that sweep <laughs> and you got three extra successes because I've got a lot of complications there, man. <laughs> As you s detect in the distance the third transport ship that Crispy mentioned nothing about approaching. Oh, boy. All right. Hey, uh, we got another one out there, boys. Okay. I uh, want to get back to the barn. I didn't do a dice action. Can I still do a dice action? It's still Mikey. You got a turn still. Yeah. Ramming speed. Are you going ramming speed at the new ship? It's the only way. Give me your uh, piloting uh, test. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Space will law! <laughs> Holy yeah! shit sticks. Uh, base damage is two. That is going to put on five damage. You do need to roll stress for me, Mikey. I got this. This is the best day of my life. And I just airlocked somebody Five, just three. not that long ago. They take two. God damn it. That's the wrong way for math. Uh, let me double check this real quick. Uh, minor damage up to half or uh, one point of damage up to half. Their whole total is a minor systems failure. So let's roll that out. Holy oh no. shit. Uh, reactor oh leak. No. Uh, as the ship starts flooding with radiation. Sadly, the synthetic crew on board is not affected by this. Uh, that's the... That's all of your turns. Um, Taggart, the one moves up to you. The other one pulls out a fucking pistol. Ooh. And tries to shoot you, Taggart. Uh, because another complication Ooh. I'm using is I'm removing all of the fucking safety protocols off these scents. Taggart, that is two damage. This is not armor okay. piercing. Oof, Taggart, doesn't matter. You take two points of damage. All right. Uh, the other ship is going to. So you've already kind of done your thing, uh, Collins, for your your com tech. So this other ship, first thing they're going to do is try and do a ComTech test to get lock on you. Mm -hmm. I pulled the two successes required. Next thing they're going to do is they're going to try and light you up with their light rail gun. This is going to be a ranged combat base damage of five. And I completely miss. Okay. Enemy turn is over. 
It's all of you. Setting the scene. Taggart, you are inside this ship fighting with Tooth Sense. One just shot you. The other one is slowly approaching you with its head twisted behind its back. Big Mac, you are on the hull of this other ship kind of off out of the way. Why is the stream focused on Griff? No one wants to know what Griff is doing right now. He's the mole. He's the mole. That's <laughs> why he's the is. one. He's Mikey, the mole. go space him. Yes, sir. Shit. Ask him to clean out the airlock and then space him. <laughs> it yeah. works every time. Mikey immediately jumps out of the pilot seat and goes running towards him. So, yeah, uh, Big Mac, you're still on the exterior of the other ship. I will point out, you still have access to those chains connecting you to the Bloody Buzzard. Uh, so, we'll turn it over. McMurphy, what's your crew about to do in this situation? Okay. I still want, uh, I still want Mac to reinforce Taggett. Uh, I got and, uh, this, sir. <laughs> I want, I want to see, get Collins to get his target lock on this damn shuttle. Uh, Can you? So, uh, and I guess I'm, I'm the one that's pulling the trigger then, if that's the case. Oh, right. uh, actually, wait, Mikey, does Mikey have, I mean, if we're rammed, if we're jammed into them, yeah. can Mikey get on the gun? Absolutely. Mikey, get on the gun, buddy. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, what yeah. you do is you put your feet in, you point at it, now you look here, and you watch mm -hmm. it move around, and then bam, yeah. there you go. Right? Uh, there you and go, I'm man. not doing the standard restrictions. As long as you have a person to pull a trigger, you can fire a gun on the ship. So, Captain Mikey, if you each wanted to fire, you're welcome mm -hmm. to. Or if, Captain, if you wanted to use your turn to give commands or something, you could also do that. Mikey, shoot him in the tractor hitch. <laughs> it's the closest thing they got to a dick. It is. Okay. It is. I'm gonna do it. So I'm just uh, gonna roll first, some rage combat. Collins needs to give you a lock. Right. Yep. You pull a success. Very good. All so right. if they want to break that lock on their next turn, they're gonna to have to pull two. So now the rest of you are free to shoot your heart out. Alright, so I'll just roll range combat basically. Yep. Range combat. Uh question I have for Oh god, Mike. Oh god. That's I a just fail. The, the the word I don't know what the the tractor hitches. Uh, Give me that uh, stress roll. Uh, God, I don't want to look bad in front of Cap. Ugh. Shit, shit. I should Everyone know where that on is. The bridge. So, Captain and Collins, uh, increase your stress by one. Uh, uh, why? I, oh, God, where's the ship dick? Oh, where's the ship dick? Yeah. Your stress also increases by one. Right. Stop flinching, shithead. Uh, now, now, now. First time I fired right, I blew up a taco stand. It's fine. It's totally fine. I like that taco stand, Captain. Taco stand. I know, I know, I know. So, right. uh, black, so am, am I up next? Sure, yeah. So I'll go over and like, no, no, Mikey, Mikey, no, 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 no. It's not like this. This is how you do it. You go like this. and you know, So I'll do the classic, like, like the like the dad over the back, kind of making sure his hands are in the right places. You know, they're right where they're supposed to be, and like I'm pushing the button, but I'm pushing his thumb over the button. That yeah. type of thing. Take your shot. That's okay, how there it's we done. go. Uh, and you're oh, doing the you did it, light buddy. Gun, or the heavy railgun. Yeah. Gun. Uh, I think we only have the one. You only gun, have the right? heavy railgun now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be six damage. Armor piercing. Uh, oh, fuck. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, they do soak one of it, so they take five damage. That brings them down a good amount, and I need to roll a major. Sensor failure. They cannot lock on you. They are now setting ducks as far as it comes to, to shooting back. Uh, so nice. that is the captain. That is Mikey. That is Collins. That means Taggart and Big Mac. The two of you are still on the other ship. Well, Taggart is in. Big Mac is out. You did hear a communication from the captain. Big Mac, help Taggart out. I don't need any help. Go away. <laughs> this sounds Almost right for rivals. Pr pretty sure that Big Mac is stuck on that ship because we took off with the chains. 
Well, Big Mac is on the ship that Taggart is in. Yeah. He has access to the chain, so he could go to your ship. Or I could leave it to Big Mac's imagination to how he's going to help out Taggart. My turn now? Sure, yeah. So you were Taggart. (laughs) All right. So everyone on this ship is dead, except for me and Taggart, right? You, Taggart, a synth with its head partially blown off and another synth with its legs shot out. Mm, so that it, synth isn't, uh, quote, dead yet. Then could it, actually, Neither of them are dead yet. It was the other ship that you, the first ship you were on, that there, <coughs> it's, it's dead, dead. Okay. The ship you're on now, it's just its engines are dead, but the two synths are still operational, engaged with Taggart. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my chain to whip around one of those synths and basically to just pull them out of I the hole. Would, I love this idea, but the problem is, is you haven't breached the hole here. I haven't breached the hole. Well, let's fix that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You do have a power loader. Yeah. That gives you a, a sizable bonus on uh, heavy machinery. Heavy machinery. Okay. I would totally be fine. If you want to be careful about this, uh, you could try and find a way that won't jeopardize Taggart, or you could just give me a heavy machinery test plus three and just use your power loader to rip a hole in the fucking hole so you can get in. Yeah, uh, so as far as I know, Taggart's in a uh, suit, is. right? He is. Yeah, Nobody well, why Taggart. be careful? He's heavy gonna rip machinery that hole right plus open. three. <laughs> One success. One success One. is enough. You rip yeah. a hole open. All of a sudden, Taggart, you are in your environmental suit. As all of a sudden, there's the high-pitched whistle, rush of wind, as the ship violently decompresses. How do I want to do this? So the one synth is unable to move. I am going to make it give me a mobility test. I want to make them both give me a mobility test minus two from their current condition. The synth with no legs gets sucked out of the hole that Big Mac just opened. The synth with the broken head somehow, like, grabs a hold of you. Now, Taggart, you do need to give me a mobility test as well. Oh. Roll me a stress, man. You're keeping it together as all of a sudden your feet are dragged out from underneath of you and you are flying towards this giant hole that Big Mac just ripped open. You ruined my fight. Um, Anybody you're not the boss of me. Captain's the boss of me. Captain said help. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking my job too. <laughs> all right. Let's... um. We're going to switch back over. Uh. All of you have taken your turn. The other ship cannot get a target lock. So, uh, they're going to give me a piloting test. And they are going to ram the Bloody Buzzard. uh, And that is going to be two points of damage. Now, the Bloody Buzzard does have an armor rating if someone wants to roll the armor rating for the bloody buzzard add it up <clears throat> damn it uh, can i use my uh can i use a reroll on that absolutely all right let's go ahead and do that okay all right that's all right. uh you only take one point of damage from that then so you're down at nine out of eleven that is a mm-hmm. minor system I hope it's Taggart's bedroom. You know what? Me too. <laughs> oh, you know, we should probably search their quarters while they're off the station to make sure they ain't the mole. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Uh, thruster damage. Um, it's just going to kind of hinder your movement. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's their turn. The other one is going to try and do a heavy machinery <laughs> test to try and get the sensors back online. 
Uh, it starts getting there. Two successes, though, isn't going to be enough to get it online this turn. Uh, Bloody Buzzer turn. What do you all got? Uh, I think with... Uh, let's see. I think we got Griff on on the ship, right? You do. You mm -hmm. want to have Griff start repairing stuff? Yeah. Griff, you dirty turncoat mole, get down to the thrusters and get them fixed. This kid is flying blind up here, and I recognize that's not the proper sense, but I don't freaking care, you turncoat. Uh, Griff Amen. starts in on system repairs. He pulls a success. Um, well, let me check our engineering abilities. Engineering actions. Uh, okay, yeah. He's able to slap it back together. It is not permanently fixed. More time will need to be spent on it in the future, along with mm. funds for replacement parts. But he's able to get you the controls back there, Mikey. Okay. So, Mikey, you shooting or you flying? I, Take a I'm going to get the shot this time. I'm shooting. I'm going to shoot okay. my shot. So I'm going to say I'm going to take my 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 turn's going to be my commands. So like one to Griff and then one to uh, Mikey. Roll me your command test real quick for Griff. I kind of glanced over there or glossed over that. Okay. Uh, Unless you want to reroll. I'll push. I'll push. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. I like the stress. Okay. This crew loves stress. Those extra rolls didn't do Griff any good. You pick up a nervous <laughs> trit, uh, Twitch. Mikey, Captain, Collins, you all take a point of stress. <laughs> we having fun yet, boys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Captain. So, so give it your <laughs> command test to Mikey. Okay. Fire it up. Mikey. Yeah. Mikey, Mikey. Yeah. I yeah. want you to focus, man. I want you to focus. You were born for this, kid. You were born for this. You got no seriously. You were. I was there when you were born. It was a very long story about a whale and a butthole. We'll talk about it later. But the point is, I want you to take that gun and I want you to shoot yeah. that shuttle square yeah. in its dick. Go. Shoot it in the dick. I love it, Mikey. What weapon are you on again? Heavy railgun. Railgun to the dick. You got it, Dad. <laughs> Also, you get plus. You know what? I'm gonna push it. I don't care. I'm nuts. Oh, oh God. <laughs> plus two, but I'm going nuts. Oh goodness. All right. So, Mikey, give me another two d six on this. Oh, you have to pick an item to drop. Roll randomly for an item to drop there. Kevin. The rest okay. of your fudge. No. Uh, it's Mikey, give me another two d six. Captain, thank you for those bits. All right. I don't think I've rolled my uh, shooting yet. You have not. <laughs> All right, so I'll do that. Oh, yeah, you'll get a plus two my, on this then. My Kevlar vest falls off. <laughs> I don't know how. It just falls off. So, I didn't, I didn't somehow. Strap it. Uh, that <laughs> is going to, to be off clothes, Captain. That's all. Damage. You get excited. And you need to give me a stress roll. I shot him in the dick, Dad. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. But I think John's right. I think. I think I'm getting so excited. I'm like, ah, Riff's a traitor. Max save in the dick. Shoot him in the dick. And it's, it's really hot in here. And I'm just ripping the Kevlar vest off. I love it. All right. Uh, Mikey, you also drop an item, it looks like. I also start ripping off my armor. Just like my dad. That's great. Ah! As this volley of shots from Mikey disables the other ship's engines. The two synths are still on board, but they aren't going anywhere. So, Captain is gone. Collins, you went, you did a sensor lock, right? Uh, prior, yes. Okay. I haven't done anything yet this round. Are you going to hop on a gun too? Oh, sure. Why not? What do we got left? Uh, for guns, uh, you're more than welcome to hop on the la uh, short lance ASAT missiles. All right. Uh, Just... That does give a plus one bonus. So roll that with a plus one for your uh, ranged combat base of three damage. Okay. 
Okay, that's going to be four damage unless you want to push. I'm fine. I'm fine with four. Okay, we're just going to keep rolling major. Uh, we're going to re-roll that because we've already got engine failure. Ooh, no FTL. You take out the engines, you take out FTL on this thing. We're just going to slowly destroy all the mobility components for some reason. Yeah. Uh, As if the first two weren't enough. Yeah, so Taggart and Big Mac. Taggart, you're huh. getting sucked out of a hole. Big Mac, you are now on the outside. You can see one of these synths is still inside. As you're watching Taggart try and get sucked out. What is Taggart Big Mac, what are the two of you doing? I'm going to try and chain that synth and yank him out of there. <laughs> Give me a... I want to try and shoot it before we can pull it out. <laughs> so Range combat or close combat? Range Ignore combat. that I'm getting pulled um, out of a hole. Yeah, give me close. And then, Taggart, you sure as fuck can try and shoot this thing, but you are getting sucked into space right now, so you're going to take a minus one on this. This is more important to me. Uh, Big success. Mac, uh, we're going to treat this as a grapple test. Um, I'm going to give a mobility. You still beat it, Big Mac. Uh, this thing is wrapped in your chains. Tagger, you hit it with your shotgun for four damage. Oh, wait, hold on. I was supposed to have a minus on that, wasn't I? Yes, you were. What, minus two? One. One. Okay, I didn't roll it with that. So now I'll probably lose all my damage. You do. God damn, and you get a roll stress. Go and roll me that stress. You're keeping it together as you sail out of the hole and you see fucking Big Mac like goddamn Scorpion whipping this chain inside, wrapping it around the synth and just ripping this thing. So you and the synth are now free tumbling through space. Big Mac, at least this ship is now void of enemies. <laughs> Tag it, that freaking mole. All right. The ship that the buzzard is engaged with is dead in the air. Um, they can't shoot. Their sensors are down. Their FTL is down. Two cents are still on that ship. You get uh, communication. Taggart. Hagger, what would you say as you're now tumbling through space, trying to shotgun fist fight a synth, also tumbling through space? Help, I follow it and I can't figure out which boy is up. I think at, oh. at least for the moment, we can kind of move out of structured combat. So, Captain, you were saying. Well, I think we got two of those shuttle cabs, right? Uh, the... You did have two, yes. Okay, okay. Hey, Chris B, uh, get hop in one of them shuttles. Go, go fetch Taggett. You got it. The rest of us, Captain. The rest of us. <laughs> Let's go render render some space whale assistance to this shuttle. Hey, Mac, can you get your ass over here? You still got the cables, right? Mac, you do. You can use. Yeah, those yeah. To get I'm to the ship. Come right over. You want me to uh, loop Taggart on the way over? Ah. Uh... I mean, don't go out of your way or nothing. I got that old guy getting it. Uh, those of you on the bridge get the notice that the other pod has launched. Uh, and you see Crispy flying off <laughs> in the entirely wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Mac. Pick him up. Crispy, where you go? You know what? Never mind. You're doing great. Just keep going until you find Taggart. You got it. I'm looking for him now. I even put on my good glasses. Oh, shit. Right. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> no, you don't need them. No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, 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 it's uh, the uh, for reading, you dummy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Rest of us, let's suit up. Let's go get, let's go take that ship. Yeah. Okay. So, Big Mac, are you rescuing Taggart? Yeah, yeah, it's I'm going to hook him with the chain. <laughs> All of a sudden, Taggart, Taggart, what are you doing as you're tumbling through space? Are you still trying to shoot this other synth in the face? I mean, it's the most important thing for Taggart is to shoot this. 
I want two rolls from you. The first is your ranged mm -hmm. combat for shooting the synth in the face. The next one, we're just going to call this uh, just like a basic random ass roll. So give me your combat test. All right. Pull a success. Are you pushing? Of course. That is fantastic. That is going to be five points of damage. Uh, we need to do a synth major. Or critical injury on synth. As you blast off one of this synth's arms, uh, Taggart, higher or low? Hi. As your shot is in the exact wrong direction of Big Mac. Big Mac, you got to give me a mobility test now. <laughs> Two successes. Good. Despite Taggart's off-thrown shot, Taggart, you feel this chain whip around you and you start getting pulled in and you realize that it is Big Mac reeling you in, pulling you back My towards kill. the buzzard. <laughs> As Captain Mikey Collins, you're all getting suited up. Captain told me to kill them. <laughs> Griff has patched your ship up enough to a point that you can. Ain't nothing keeping it. you from making another shot. <laughs> you can take another shot. <laughs> oh, I'll pull out my pistol and try to take. It. Are you going to? <laughs> yes. Please do. Just flying in the opposite direction. Okay, that is going to be two base damage, um, and you need to roll me stress. You're keeping it together. You're doing good. As you blow out this thing's fluid pump, as there's this spray of tapioca pudding melting in with the stars in the distance. I got him again. All right. Eventually, though, Big Mac, as you're pulling yourself in Taggart and Taggart still shooting, the synth is helplessly floating through space. Uh, Mikey, I'm not going to make you roll for this. Uh, you get suited up and you're able to maneuver your sh the buzzard in a in a way to dock with this other Sigs and ship. I'm an expert at docking. Um, Captain, do you want to do this in some way to... Yeah, Crispy is still flying to this day. Uh, do you want to do this in a way that reunites all five members of the party? I mean, I suppose that would be the smart thing to do. Yeah. So. Yes. Uh, Captain Jonas, and look at Collins. So. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Meet us. Let's go, guys. All together. Yeah. So. Let's, uh, battle armor or, or or environmental suits, Captain? Mm, yes. Uh, I mean, expect uh, resistance. So, like, yeah, arm yourself, whatever you get. All right. Sweet. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. You all, as the umbilical is connecting Taggart, Big Mac, the two of you swing around and you're able to kind of hop in this umbilical as it connects. So that way, as the ship in the or the crew in the buzzard, as you throw the airlock, you see that Taggart and Big Mac are in the buzzard, ready to reconvene. Uh, what is going to happen here? That's a question to all of you. Oh, I thought it was rhetorical. Uh, we want to get on the ship, so. Uh... So, uh, Cap will knock on the door, you know, knock on the airlock door, and be, be, and say, uh, and say, Mikey, Mikey, tell him from, tell him we're from, uh, uh, the Space Whale Towing Company, and see if we can render assistance or something. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is Space Whale Tow and Rescue. We heard you had an emergency. Allow us to come in and save you. That was perfect. Mikey, give me a manipulate test. 
be like reloading my shotgun in the background. Absolutely. <laughs> you succeed. Give me a stress. <laughs> Pick an item to draw, man. Gosh. Or roll it. Whatever you want to do. Um, Just your nade. I'm looking at what all shit he had on. Uh, Nate drops blows. <laughs> maybe like a stun baton or something. Sure, you drop your stun baton. As the door slides open, you don't have to breach it as you see the two cents standing there and this utter look of confusion on their face. Wait, you are not a member of the towing company, Space Whale. Uh, and at this point, we're going to actually do something I've been dreading all night. We're going to roll initiative. Uh, I'm going to go top to bottom in the order, which is alphabetical. Um, I'll have you know I'm that space whale's butthole, baby, you son of a bitch. Acknowledge my heritage. <laughs> Would enough time have passed since we started suiting up for our panic to drop? Yes, please drop your panic. Oh. Oh, thank you. All of it or just one? Point? No, this is the panicked condition. You keep no, your stress. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. That's right. yeah. <sighs> uh, so far, as this initiative table is putting out, most of you are doing terrible. Collins, you rolled the one, though. Uh, but I just realized that I never reset the table from the last time. So I got to do this shit all fucking over again. Thanks so much fucking space waves all right welcome uh big mac you end up with a seven mcmurphy you end up with the six get out of here you seven and six uh mikey you land on a three. Uh, Collins already told you you got a one. I'm going to let you keep the one. Uh, Taggart. Uh, you pull an eight. And our two synth friends. First one gets a nine. Second one ends up with a five. So crew of the bloody buzzard is there any initiative swapping you want to do before this goes into effect do it i think what do you think so all right well if there's no initiative swapping collins you're now standing in this umbilical as the door slides open there are two cents uh, both of them wielding stun batons, but you can see pistols holstered. Okay, I'm just going to open up with the uh, pulse rifle. Please do. Ooh. Holy Ooh. shit sticks. That's wow. uh, three, four, five, six points of damage. Is the pulse rifle armor piercing? Yes. Um, yeah, ready to blow off some steam. Doesn't fucking matter because I forgot these things don't have armor. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, ruptured fluid pump. This thing loses its next slow action. Nice. Uh, we're just going to put this over here. Oh, God. All right. Uh, so, that thing is at zero hit points, but sense going to keep going. Mikey. All right, so that one loses slow action. It looks like it's thrown back enough. It probably won't be able to attack this turn, so I'll attack the other one. Sure, yeah. All right. Can't let Collins outdo me. I know how to use a pulse rifle. I know what I'm doing. One success. Do you want to push? Can't that? let him outshine me. Gonna push. All right, you got two damage on it now. Gonna double push because I can. Oh. Holy I'm shit! I'm gonna oh, outshine you, shit. motherfucker. Ah. Two. 
seven successes total. That's awesome. So that is going to be eight damage on this thing. That melts through its its health. Uh, let's see what we're going to get for that critical injury. Uh, same thing, ruptured fluid pump. So both of them are losing their next slow action. See, monkey do. <laughs> but Mikey does better. All right. Um, so the first synth... Uh, is going to close up on, I'm going to say, probably on Big Mac. Just because that would be kind of who I imagined is up front, Taggart and Big Mac. Closes up on Big Mac, does not have a slow action to do anything about it. Captain McMurphy, you're up. Okay, seeing that Collins and Mikey are doing a wonderful job. I will turn to these other two. I'm like, what the hell? You go for a space block and you forget how to do your jobs? And so I'm going to give both uh, Mac and Taggart orders. Nice. I'm like, they, you see, finish that. You, you, you take that one out. You on that one. Oh, my God. I got to do everything around here. Um, so I don't know. What is Mac? Is, is, would Mac have like a melee out? Like a melee combat? He's got his chain. Okay. <laughs> well, so We're going to call that a base He's always one got damage. his butcher knife. Okay. All right. So I'll do, I'll give you, I'll do my command action on you for slow action. You get plus, plus three, three kick ass. <laughs> when your when your turn comes around, and then on Taggart, uh, let's see what we got for Taggart. Taggart, plus you two. take plus two. Let me go and stress it up a bit here. You get a tremble, man. Like I haven't had a drink in like three freaking weeks. Jeez. Uh, okay. Could be hours. I don't really remember. It was. Three minutes ago, you had a coffee. Big Mac, you've been pep-talked oh. by the captain. You have a plus three on this action. There's a synth all up in your face. Big Mac's just going to use that chain to throw around his neck and just strangle him with it. So you're going to give me your, your melee combat roll. You get a plus three. The chain is going to be a base damage of one. Uh, so yeah, close combat, plus three. You're gonna put one point of damage. You gotta roll me stress. Tremble, you take a minus two on agility test. But oh. uh any point of damage at this point on these synths does trigger a roll. Severe chassis breach. Uh this fucking synth somehow <laughs> big his head off. <laughs> yeah, this synth is out of commission. You've taken one of them out, one remains. Taggart, you are up. Uh, easy, I'll just walk up to him and shoot him. If I may, Chuck, so the trembling uh, uncontrollably is because all the fluid is like all over oh, yeah. my helmet and I can't. <laughs> Holy shit, that is five successes, base damage of three. Uh, so that is going to be seven points of damage. You We're as all well getting the trembles. Pick up a tremble. The excitement As of shooting. This synth picks up. Uh, you take off one of its arms. Uh, okay. It's just more fun to pick them apart. <laughs> All right, we'll call this synth Maddie. <laughs> uh, old Maddie two arms is going to move up to Taggart. It has no, or old Maddie one arm. Has no slow action though. That brings us back around to Collins. Collins, one synth remains all up in Taggart's personal space. All right. Um, yeah, Collins is just gonna like uh, he'll pull out his uh, baton and just whap it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Go and give me a roll. Uh, at this point, we just need success because each success is going to inflict an injury. Until eventually you beat the shit out of these things enough that they are unable to fight on. Do you want to push that? That is no oh, successes. Thank you. Go. One point of damage. And I thought it showed a stress, but it's not reading any stress. Your lucky day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and this thing also needs to head dislocation. <laughs> uh, Cranked it right rolling across the same injuries. And same injury. Uh, so remind me. 
let me take a look. Stun baton, it has to give a roll. Stamina. Stamina roll, thank you. Where are these skills? Uh, stamina roll. Uh, so it's gonna lose its next action. So it's got shit to do until the end of its next turn. Mikey, you are up as Collins moved up and brained this remaining synth. I'm not gonna let him show me up and I go to reach for my stun baton, but it's not there. Shit, I don't care. I'm gonna punch him in his dislocated head. Base damage one, making me a close combat. What about a synth dick? Two points of damage. Let's see what a synth dick punch can do as far as critical injuries. Do the Johnny Cage. System shut down. <laughs> right in the off Android switch. Android is torn to shreds. Core system oh severely God. damaged. You one punch man this synth nad. Utterly destroying the it. off switch. Fucking okay, I'll give you that, Collins. That was good. I'll give he you that. switched it all the way off. <laughs> all right. And that is where we are going to wrap this combat and for the night, because we are at time. You all have recovered three ships, all of them in various states of extreme disrepair. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you did it. Good job. That was definitely uh, something. Good did good. Let's do something. some xp questions yeah did you participate you get an xp point yes anyone sacrifice something to further their personal agenda if you did you get an xp point did you risk your life for a buddy pc does anyone think they can take that no okay i mean i risked everyone's lives for mikey to be able to play a shark and ram it you into a, another ship I risked everything for him. I would, I would allow that. I would. So should I get one XP per person on the ship? Just is that how that XP works? XP total okay. for yeah. that. Yeah. Sorry. No fun. Um, did anyone challenge or stand up to their rifle? Uh, I feel like Taggart did that. <laughs> Being kind of jealous. Taggart's my rival, and I, you know, just want to antagonize each to other. <laughs> I'll allow each of you can take a point for that. Sure. Uh, did you make a panic roll? I think everyone did tonight. Is that correct? Mm, yeah. Collins? Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. Yeah. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't okay. make a panic roll. Sure. All right. Did you overcome a dangerous event using violent or nonviolent means? You violented the hell out of that situation. <laughs> we so, just yeah. about managed to check that box every time. Yeah. <laughs> Strategery yeah. is what it was. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you make a significant discovery or revelation? Uh, this session? We discovered the off switch. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like that one's a stretch. A fine stretch, but a stretch. Um, anyone feel like they performed an extraordinary action? Fucking Big Mac sailing between ships on chains with a fucking power loader. I think yeah. that's definitely deserving of a point. Anyone else, if you think you'd earned it, take it. Uh, and finally, I mean, yeah. As much as I hate saying this, I think Taggart going solo mission onto a yeah. shuttle and taking out to them. I think. I think, that's I think that nice. would count. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I felt pretty good about it. <laughs> no money earned this session, no simply because now that you have the ships, you got to sell them, and that's how you earn your money. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. So next session we'll pick up. You've got three ships. Job is done. Uh, you got some repairs on your ship, and these other ships are also needing some repair. Um, ah, keep in mind that I picked up uh, spaceship mechanic last time good so that's nice. gonna come in handy absolutely it is um i think that's our session let's do our closing round and then we'll make like a train get the fuck out of here so uh jeff what are the gaggers got happening yeah man uh friday we are playing hunter the reckoning we got our finale uh for at least season one of our uh, of our chronicle over there uh, Saturday, we're back to one ring. Uh, Monday, we're back to holler. And we just started a couple, up a couple new games. 
Uh, so we did Blade Runner last Friday, and just earlier this week, we finally started up our Horror in the Orient Express campaign. So both of those are over on our YouTube channel uh, for Adventures in Lollygagging, so you can catch up with that before our next sessions. So very excited about those. Cool. Uh, Bert, what you got happening? Well, let's see. This Friday, we've got some BX Dungeons & Dragons playing in our Mistara campaign. This Saturday is Cyberpunk Red, our sitcom it took a decidedly really dark turn last time but still calling it a sitcom uh this sunday shadow run second yeah. edition i'm down sounds good uh jeremy you got a patreon you want to tell us about yeah and read some patreon comics art tokens you know other fun assets check it out there you go uh, and as far as John, Dan, and I for Defenders of Cobalt, if you come back Friday night, Joe is running us through some hearts uh, where John is playing a Vermissian Knight. Uh, I am playing a... I don't even remember what I'm playing. I'm, uh, I believe the term is idiot. I, <laughs> because that's you put everything in your mouth. <laughs> um, Jeremy, what, what was the last thing you played in heart? Cleaver. I'm playing a cleaver. Oh, God, they're so good. Uh, and Dan, what do you got? The Hound. You got the Hound. Very nice. cool. Uh, Saturday, we've got nothing because uh, Dan and I are going to be up at uh, Adam's place playing some board games. Uh, Jeremy is preoccupied by something that he could totally blow off and his wife won't murder him for. Um birthday yeah yeah uh next week here wednesday the same time same place we're going to be continuing alien all fear the ishtar uh but something i really want to highlight is starting next week every tuesday and thursday somehow steven has talked john myself my tray in april into playing a pathfinder game and every Thursday or Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to be least releasing like a 20 minute session, 20 minute episode on YouTube. John, what can you tell us about this Pathfinder game so far? Uh, well, um, we're doing the Age of Ashes adventure path, starting off in Hell Knight Hill. And uh, oh, yeah, they're all goblins. All goblins. They're all goblins. That's a yeah. lot of fun. Steven and I are playing brothers. Uh he is the high charismatic, high energy bard, uh, and I am the low energy, very smelly sorcerer. So it's a very fun dynamic. Whereas uh, my trace barbarian and April's rogue uh, try to make the best out of the stupid situations we put them in. It's starting Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, that's all I fucking got. I don't know what else is going on. Let's get the fuck out of here. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Everyone watching, thank you for those bits. That's fantastic. Go check out the Lollygaggers, Steam, Steel, and Murder. Uh, and come back next week for more of this. Until we see you next time. I had to queue up the end screen because I always forget that shit. Until we see you next time, start fires, do drugs, and go be a space pirate. Deuces. Yarr. Yarr.